Yes. How do we disentangle from myself. China without uh, while maintaining our alliances with them while still maintaining friendly relations? So I think that in the next instance of that, that's going to be very difficult to do. But what friendly relations do we need to maintain? Some of the other ones we've cut off. So if I'm U.S. president, I'm thinking January 2025, I'm taking office. Here's how it's going to look. All right. I think we have to actually reenter some of the deals we exited, trade deals we exited with places like Japan, South Korea, Australia, India, Vietnam. You go straight around the Pacific Rim. I think we have to reenter that to say that I'm now in a position to sit across the table from Xi Jinping and say we're cutting the cord. There was yeah. one, though, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I'm not yes, sure if the that's TPP, yeah. the, um, the, the investor state dispute settlement clause within that allows Malaysian oil companies to sue American citizens if they discriminate. Which I think is messed up. Yeah. So, so what I would say is I'm, gonna, I'm a big fan of using silver linings in our favor. So that was the TPP. Now we have the revised CPTPP. They want the U.S. in, right? So I would use the fact that Trump pulled out as leverage to say, hey, we're coming back. But here are the concessions we need from Malaysia to Japan, subsidizing their state-owned enterprise. There's some tweaks we'll need there. But believe me, now that we're not in it, we have the leverage to say we're coming back in on these terms. We come back in. But those are largely still with friendly nations. Yeah. That then puts me in a position as the president to sit across the table from Xi Jinping. And he'll know I mean it when I say we're cutting the cord. We're declaring total independence. We're banning U.S. businesses from doing business in China. You will not buy land in our country if you're affiliated with the CCP. You won't donate to universities in our country. We're decoupling unless you either radically reform and play by the same rules. No IP theft, no data theft, but also no turning companies into your one-sided cultural and political lobbying pawns in the United States. And if you don't meet our conditions, then we're out. The, uh, I actually think Xi Jinping then meets our demands. That's, I think, what happens.